Hello guys and welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be reviewing the GameSense MVP wireless mouse that was sent to me by Lethal Gaming Gear themselves for my honest review. Now it's been a long time since I've done a mouse review, but I want to get back into more than just keyboard reviews like mice, mouse pads, monitors, anything PC related. So without further ado, let's just get right into it. The unboxing experience of this mouse is quite nice. I like that the art on the box wraps around the whole box it's not just on the top so inside the box you get the mouse the usb and a little flyer and you also get extra feet for this mouse now i believe the feet are the same so i'm guessing if these like kind of wear over time you can just replace them with the ones that come in the box which is quite nice because not many people do that but yeah the mouse is only available in the black color and is 99 dollars it's not actually available on Lethal Gaming Gear's website at the moment, and it's sold out on GameSense's website, but I'm pretty sure Lethal Gaming Gear will have it out pretty soon. So let's go over the specifications of this mouse. It weighs 75 grams on paper. The sensor they're using is the 3370. The battery life is 64 hours with no RGB, and the switches they are using for the clicks are the KO 4.0 on all buttons from mouse 1 to mouse 5 but it's not including the DPI button. The feet they are using are white PTFE feet and it can go up to 1000 Hz with USB charging and a USB receiver and there is also software. So that was a mouthful but basically what it means is that it's very solid. So the sensor they're using is well known for being pretty good and it being on this mouse is a good sign because you know it's reliable and most people like this sensor. So that was pretty nice to see and I personally do enjoy the sensor too as well. The battery life is pretty solid. I think I charged it like once over the span of the week that I've been using it. And the clicks are very nice. I'd say they're very deep. They're thick clicks, but they can be a little bit on the heavier side, I've seen people say. But for me personally, I really like them. So here's a quick sound test of the clicks on the mouse. So yeah, sound wise, obviously sound pretty cool. I don't know if that matters to anybody, but I just thought I'd show that off. The weight, I did get a scale because I know RStats Mouse Review asked me to do that. And you know, I'm learning, so I got one. Now, it's weird. I don't know if it's my scale, but when I did it here, it was around 76 grams. But when I did it off cam, it was 75.1 grams. So I'm not too sure which one is more accurate. I'm gonna give him the benefit of the doubt and say that it's more accurate to the 75.1 grams one. Pretty solid on paper to what it actually is in real life. This build quality is very solid. There's no creaking in the plastic. There's no rattling inside, like nothing's moving around, which is very nice to see. Like the clicks are very solid. And overall build quality wise, this mouse is very nice, especially for the price point that it's going at. You know, it's nothing like a Model O, which has a lot of creaking and all that stuff. So it's nice to see that it has pretty good build quality. There is RGB on the bottom of the mouse that has underglow and on the logo. But I noticed that the logo RGB, the light isn't in the middle. It's more on the top right, which kind of looks a bit weird because then the RGB or color fades to the bottom and it's not lit up at the bottom of the G logo which could have been fixed if the light was centered more. Not a big deal, but just thought I'd point that out. Now you can turn off the RGB and or only have it on when you're not moving the mouse in the software they offer. And that software is easily downloadable on their website. It has macro support. You can change the DPI and all that good stuff. Now, while we're on the topic of DPI, I did want to say that this mouse does feel a little bit faster than my Razer Viper Ultimate at the same DPI settings. So I would go it at 1600 DPI. When I used 1600 DPI on this mouse, it did feel a bit weird. I had to go down to 1550 DPI for it to feel a little bit closer to 1600 DPI. But even at that, that was a bit too much and you can't go in between that either. So it's either 1550 or 1600. You can't go in between that which I think is a bit weird because I think 1600 is probably 1580 on this mouse, but you can actually access that number. So it's either a little bit too slow or a little bit too fast. So either or, still feels weird. I just 
thought I'd point that out. I think that's the biggest flaw when it comes to this mouse. The DPI settings are a bit off. The feet wise, the glide is pretty good for some stock factory feet. You know, it doesn't feel scratchy or anything like that. And I quite like the way it moves on the mouse pad. The thing that makes this mouse the way it is or the way that people recognize it is the shape. And that is because it is very, very similar to an old Microsoft mouse called the WMO, which was basically a Microsoft wheel mouse and it had the same shape. So you could consider this mouse to be the modern version of the WMO mouse, which is pretty cool because if you like the shape of the WMO, that's basically what you're getting here, but in a wireless version. So yeah, overall, I think this mouse is very good for the price that it's going at. It has a great sensor, good battery life, very thick clicks that are very nice. The feet are nice as well. I think the only problem I had with this mouse was the fact that the DPI settings were a bit weird and it was either too slow or too fast when it comes to how accurate it was to 1600 DPI. So if they could change it in the software to be 1580 compatible, that'd be great. But I don't know how much of an easy fix that is. But other than that, like I said, this mouse is pretty good. I'll be leaving a link to it in the description below if you do plan on buying it. But other than that, let me know what you guys think about this mouse in the comments down below. Now, see you guys in the next video. Peace.